name is Boyan Galeva. I'm from language school Varna and I'm a participant in the project Mind the Gap and I have the pleasure to interview you. So would you tell us something about yourself? Okay, my name is Mark, Mark McTaggart. I'm from England, uh, a place called Causton near to London and I'm the director of English Academy here in Varna. What are your reasons for immigration? Well, I lived in England, of course, until I finished university and I just wanted to experience different cultures and different places. So first, I travelled around the world and then I decided to become a teacher. And really it was to meet different people, experience different cultures and to live the kind of life that I really wanted to live. How do you like living in this country? Yeah, I love living in Bulgaria. I've been here for five and a half years now, so I guess I could say it's like my home now. Um, and uh, why do you like living here? The people are friendly, uh, just living by the sea was always a dream for me. Um, like I said in the summer as well, it's hot and it's uh, had people from all different cultures and different countries. So I'm really happy here, I can say. Are there specific positive aspects uh, about the country that you would like to point out? Uh, positive aspects, um, like I said, the people are really friendly, especially to foreigners. I find that people are very welcoming and when I try and speak my bad Bulgarian, usually they try to help me or they, a lot of people here speak English. And of course the food is great, much better than England, uh, more healthy. I love the salads and uh, yeah, everything really. It's difficult to explain one thing, but uh, just has a nice feeling here. Yeah. Are there specific negative aspects that uh, you would like to point out? Um, well, I don't like to focus on the negative. I mean, every country has some negatives. For me, maybe the one thing that I don't like is when you see rubbish on the floor, on the beach, when people leave things behind. I don't know. I think for me, this I don't like. Mm, other problems? Yeah, of course there are some problems, but not anything specific that I think is really bad. Can you live your culture, traditions and religions in this country? Well, Bulgaria it's not so much different to England. A lot of the culture and traditions are similar. Um, so I don't think it's really a problem for people here to practice all of these things. It's really not a big problem for us, I think. What institutions do you know that help immigrants? Um, this question is difficult to answer because for me when I first came I worked for the British Council and they took care of everything for me so I didn't really need so much help from outside so maybe I'm not so educated in this way I don't really know many places that help immigrants I've been lucky to always have people to help me How do you like the school you're working for? Well, I guess because it's my school and I'm the director I must say I love this school but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nice because uh, I get to meet so many people from the school. We have lots of students and I can say that many of the students are my friends. So it's a really nice way to meet people by being a teacher, I think. It gives us a great opportunity to meet new people from the country. What specific positive aspects about the school you'd like to point out? Um, again, like I said before, I'd say the main positive aspects are getting to meet so many different people from children to adults and everyone wants to learn English so it means that everyone wants to speak to us and wants to be friendly and it, it just creates a really good atmosphere that you want to go to work because you're with students who are highly motivated and who really want to, to be there and it's good for a teacher. What negative aspects about the school you'd like to point out? Um, about, maybe not about the school, but about teaching. Sometimes when you're a long time away from your own country, you want to speak completely freely without having to think about the words that you're saying. And sometimes as a teacher, because you're always teaching people who are not native speakers, you have to pick your words carefully. And sometimes you just want to be free to completely express yourself normally. And sometimes as a teacher this can be, I don't know, can be a problem. What can the school do for you to improve your situation as a migrant? Well, 
Well, what we try to do is when we get teachers from England, we, we meet them at the airport, we put them in a hotel, we help them find accommodation, help them with the electricity. So the school really tries to help the, the teachers who come. From a teacher's point of view, we try to help them as much as possible. And with the students too, we try and help them if they want to study in other countries. We have some connections with England. So the teachers and the students, we really try hard to try and help them with whatever problems they have. What activities do you share with Bulgarian self outside the school? Um, well, most of my friends are Bulgarians, so I can say that outside of the school I do most of my activities are with Bulgarians. So, for example, I, in the summer I was playing a lot of tennis, and now with the students sometimes after classes we go to a restaurant or have a drink. So, really, outside of the school with Bulgarians, everything that I do is with Bulgarians. I can say that yeah, most of my friends are Bulgarians, so I'm lucky in this way. What do you appreciate regarding Bulgarian students? Um, I would say the fact that they're so motivated and really want to study hard. In England now, I don't know why, but a lot of students are not so motivated to study, especially languages. But uh, at the school, Bulgarian, especially young Bulgarians, really want to learn English and they seem to see the benefits of this. And it's, it's just really nice to have such motivated students. It's great for a teacher. Is there something you don't like about Bulgarian students? Um, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I mean, everybody is different. Every student is a different person. Uh, one thing that I do notice in the class is that uh, trying to get them not to speak in Bulgarian. So in the class it's always, speak in English, it's for you, it's good for you. So it's not really a problem, but I think for them it would be better when they're in the class if they just speak English. So it's constantly saying, speak English. Speak. What activities do you share with other immigrants? Um, it depends if you mean other English people who are immigrants here. Uh, there are some, of course. We have many teachers here. And much like the Bulgarian students, we, we go for a drink and to a restaurant. And uh, It's a small English community here, so we all know each other. And we have dinners at each other's places and barbecues sometimes. So, similar activities to the Bulgarians. We all know each other because it's a small community. What do you appreciate about immigrants in Bulgaria? Um, I guess they're in the same situation as me because they're not, it's not their home country. So we have something in common straight away with other immigrants. Um, and certainly, as I said before, it's nice sometimes to speak to other English people because you can be completely relaxed without having to worry about some difficult words and if somebody understands it. Uh, it's not a big problem, but just every now and again it's nice to not have to think about this. Is there something you don't like regarding immigrants in Bulgaria? Um, well, it's difficult to generalise, but I know that some people expect it to be the same as home. And I think that when we're guests in someone else's country, we need to understand that things aren't going to be exactly the same. And uh, embrace these changes and not just complain about them. And this is maybe a negative thing that some people come and they expect things a certain way and complain too much. So this is maybe one negative thing. Do you feel accepted by your students and why? I think so, yeah. I like to think that I'm accepted by my students. I think, like a lot of the students, they want to, to talk. I can see the enthusiasm and Often they will invite me out for dinner after the class and go for a drink. So I guess this shows that if they want to spend extra time and have a drink with, with us, it means that they must accept us. So, yeah, I'd say yeah, I do feel accepted. Do you feel accepted uh, by native people in this country in general and why? In general, yeah, I'd say most people are quite happy to, to have an English person here and are quite friendly. Occasionally, it has some problems. For example, the language barrier can be a problem sometimes, and if the person doesn't speak English, and my Bulgarian is not great, it can cause some problems. But being accepted, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that I feel quite accepted by most people here. What would you like to be different to improve your situation here? Mm. Well, from a personal point of view, to have a bit more free time to enjoy living here and seeing different places, because 
quite busy at the moment with the school. So personally, that would be the one thing that I'd want more than anything, is a bit more free time. But we'll see, maybe in the future this can happen. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.